One two coming. Soft fly ball. Stanton lines it up. Runner tags and comes home. Stanton's throw to the plate. In time. He is out at the plate. On a hop. Mathis with the tag. Brian Price. Reds manager is out. Mike Winters, the home plate umpire. First of all, why didn't he slide? He came in purposely trying to say he was blocking a lane. This is a whole different game. He didn't even slide. He should be out anyway. He didn't even slide. He's trying to get a call as opposed to playing the game the way it should be. This is not a challenge. It is an interpretation of the rule that was put into place. Here's a look at it. Everything done perfectly. Stanton times it. One hop throw on the money. He doesn't have a chance. Mathis has the ball. He can do whatever he wants. And he didn't even slide. If they change this, I'm sorry. If they change this, I... <laughs> If they change this, they better change the rules of the entire game. The you can't do it anymore perfectly. The catcher is allowed. He's got the ball. He gets over to put the tag on him. He should have slid anyway. New York is looking at it. In the interpretations that we've seen and have been told, catchers can go get the ball wherever it might be. His foot's on the plate. The okay, ball. he has to go get the ball. He catches it. Once he catches it. With that much space between ball and runner, there's a lot of space. If it's bang, bang, it's different. But he has to move over that way to catch the throw. The throw is a little bit on the third base side of the bag. If he doesn't move, he doesn't catch the ball. Boy, this is an enormous call in a one nothing game. There's more contact in a high school game than they showed right there. Some anxious moments for everybody here at Marlins Park. For the Reds, it would mean a tie game for the Marlins. It would preserve a 1-0 lead. The Reds had the bags loaded with nobody out. Zach Kozark coming in from third, out by a good margin. The umpires in New York trying to decide if Mathis was illegally blocking the plate, but the ball arrived well in front of Cozart. If in the judgment of the umpire, the catcher without possession of the ball blocks the pathway with, the runner. But there's the key. Without possession of the ball, Jeff Mathis had possession of the ball. This is a long, long review. Too long for me. This should be cut and dry. Okay? He has to go that way to catch it. He has possession. And Kozar trying to play the challenge game. Saying, hey, I didn't have a play. If he slides, you just slide. He's probably still out, but slide because that's the way the game's supposed to be played. I would expect there's a lot of discussion going on in New York between a variety of umpires, not just one guy watching it, but a group of umpires. Next year, we'll just let them score. Just let the catcher catch it three feet in front of the plate. Let the runner score. Be like T-ball pretty soon. Mike Winters chatting with uh, Mark Wagner. And the umpires are just like us. The umpires here awaiting a decision in New York.
Well Winters the home plate umpire certainly didn't think he was blocking. He was adamant about the out call. Obviously he watched it in real time. The umpires in New York have had by now three minutes or so to look at all the views all the angles which leads me to believe Tommy there's a discussion going on in New York. He had possession of the ball. If he has possession of the ball, he doesn't have to give him a lane. He can go in and tag him. And the runner can do anything he wants. Mathis looked down, looked at his feet, balls up the line. Now he has to go, he has to move that way to get the throw. That's why he moved that way. So next time, just let the ball go through and let two runs score. One thing Joe Torre told us in Los Angeles is if the ball takes the catcher into the pathway of the runner he's allowed to go get the ball. If this call is changed it's going to change a whole lot in baseball. Let me just say this and I'll say this over on Reds TV they're probably saying hey he didn't have a lane he should score. But that's not right and if this calls changed. It's going to change a whole lot in this game of baseball as we know it. There's such a gray area around this rule that I really have no feel as to what this I don't call think they do either because it's taken so long. Here's the call. He's safe. Game's going to change from this day on. And mark down the date, July 31st, 2014. Mike Redman right now rips his shirt off, throws his hat. I feel like doing the same thing. A major league catcher himself, Redman. Get your money's worth, Red. Get your money's worth. It's an enormous call. It's a tie game. Redmond has been ejected. I don't care what I read, what they say afterward. That's not the right call. It's a bad call. It took them six minutes to make a bad call. Now the umpires on the field obviously drew the ire of Redmond. What he'd like to do is pick up the phone I'm sure and call New York and go at it with those guys. Give me that number. Because Mike Winters the home plate umpire, found nothing wrong with the tag initially but it was reviewed in New York.